Well, you're the lazy one today. Where's your silly sister? I gotta get you guys some fresh water. Well, there you are. Listen, girls, I'm gonna need you to get your little doggy bags packed. I'm gonna take you to the pound today. That's right. I think I'm gonna go with hamsters. They're a lot smaller, they poop a lot smaller, and they eat a lot less. Why don't you believe me? They don't believe me. I would never take my dogs to the pound. Never. Especially these two. All right. A nice, cool, beautiful morning. Excuse me with your sound effects. I'm making a movie. Today's destruction day. Yeah. I'm gonna start getting the screen tight system off. We're gonna save it. Might need it for something else in the future. I'm gonna get the screens off. I'm gonna save them. And I'm gonna start prepping this for the T111. Don't think we'll get to that today, but we're gonna get everything tore apart. Get this door off here. I don't know if I'll take it off today. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Nah, we'll leave it on. I don't know. Do Should we? Yes, I don't know. But two windows. I'm gonna go back tomorrow and get two more. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and do four. One, two, three, four. That would look awesome. Just didn't quite like how two would look. You know, it'd look all right. But it would just, you know, it's going to look so much better with four windows. I'm going to start taking this off this morning. Uh, I think I'm going to do the ceiling similar to what I did in the shop. And if you haven't watched, let's go look at the shop. All right, if you are new to my channel, this is inside my laser shop. New channel starting soon for that. But this is how I did my ceiling in here. Instead of covering up where the rafters are, I went inside of them. Okay, there's wall, there's foam board insulation first. And then I put the pegboard down. I painted the pegboard black. Then I framed it out. And I think that looks really good. So I think I'm gonna do similar in there. I don't know if I'm using pegboard. I may just use solid masonite, but I kind of like the pegboard look. I kind of like that. So we may use pegboard and paint it a different color. You know, don't want to be too repetitive. And it's gonna add time to the to the job, but. I want it done right. I want it to look the final uh, product to look nice. So it's already got the, you know, it's just going to be, I think those are, I don't remember if I did those 16 on center in there or 24 on center. These are 24. I believe those are 16. Well, let's get the, uh, let's get that foam insulation down. So get a good look at this guys. This isn't going to, this is going away. In moments, moments. All right, we're gonna start taking off the screen tight system. Very, very easy. These just snap in and you pull them off. Let's lay these over here. If you guys are making a screen patio, this screen tight system is the way to go. Uh, it's not real cheap, but it's easy to install. Looks like it's easy to uninstall, too. But, uh, yeah, all you do is... Gives you two sets of tracks. There's one there and then the top cover plate. And then you spline in the screen. Now I need to see where the spleen... Or the spleen. The spline... I like that word, spline. We'll see where that starts. And we'll just pull the spline off. Yeah. Probably no sense in saving this screen. Well, nah, it's just gonna be another thing that collects. The screen is not expensive. Be gone, get on out uh, here.
so we won't save it. I've got a whole big fat roll of it in there. Puh. Oh, the hot day that I put this stuff up. If I knew I was doing this now, I'd have a coronary. I didn't do a very good job on this stuff. But it was hot, man. It was hotter than Cooter Brown's underpants. Hey, there's my coffee. I need that. However, however am I going to get to my coffee? Well, Don't get no dust in there. You got dust in there. Now I gotta go make more. Get the heck out of here. Doing it the easy way. Oops. All right. It is fun tearing stuff up. I like destruction. Destruction's fine. I will wad all this up, shove it in a used dog food bag. And that's it. The screens are off. Somebody's gonna comment. You could use that to screen out stuff to go gold panning. No, I don't need it. Got a whole roll of it. Play with my spine, my spine. All right, you get the picture. All right, all that has been removed. Now let's go inside and get that metal off the wall. All right, now we're going to see what's going on in here. I need to peel this carpet back, get it out of my way. Can't get it up because that big heavy weight machine's on it. It's all right. We don't really need to be on that end of the of the building, any, any of this building. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I got this foam down here. All right, that's going to take some extra effort. Got that spray foam. Like that stuff does any good. We're not putting this back up, so use it for something else. Looks pretty good in there, but I got to get this out. Well, and I'm going to try to keep my mess to a minimum during this build because that sucks trying to clean all that mess up. Ow! Alright, I'm going to have to get some tools get that foam cut out of there. Alright, despite the floods that we had in here, this all looks pretty good. I'm, I'm talking about the 2x4s. I mean, they are treated, so... But I think what's saving this is... These are sitting on a, about a eight, nine, ten inches worth of stone. So there's no way water can just sit there. It's going to, you know, it's going to sink, it's going to seep down into the stones and stay away from the wood. So it all looks pretty good. 
anyway, that T111 there is probably coming off. I may leave that part and uh, because I got to put another skin on the outside here. So that, that part I might just go ahead and leave and go over top of it. But everything looks pretty good. No worries there. Now you can see where the concrete ends. And I went to the outside of it for more space. Not so much for more space, but for drainage. I don't know why I did what I did, but I did it. This place is built on one, two, three, four, six by six posts. 14 foot posts that go all the way up. They double as railings posts upstairs. And so now I can see that I use two by fours down here. And then up here where I have my screen windows, I used six by or two by sixes, which I bought. So we'll just probably frame the windows out each one. And then I got to deal with, hold on, I don't need to use the door anymore. And so I need to get probably a board down here somewhere, the same depth as this, so I can lay my uh, little big daddy, big daddy long legs. Well, I didn't mean to knock you one. So I can put my T111, uh, it will go under here, here to there. And what sucks about using T111 is it has to go vertical. I mean, it doesn't have to but the rest of the house is. So you gotta take a four by eight sheet, that's about six foot, cut it. Four by eight sheet, cut two feet off. So you're gonna have all these two foot pieces that go to waste, but I think I'm gonna have enough left over that I can use about all of it with their doghouse when I build that. All right, let me get these screens off. And this, this wall is going to take a lot of work. Because I cannot put a door here, guys. Let me show you why. That door is a lot taller. See how, see how this door is? How it just barely clears that? Well, this would be the same way. And I don't like that. And I would have to tear into that. I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is add probably two feet out and have an entryway. Maybe it might go more. But I need to pour some extra concrete on each side of this sidewalk because it isn't wide enough. Uh, that door is probably comes out to here. So we'll just add a little bit to that sidewalk and then build an entryway. And then, of course, the 2x4s, the uh, plates will go on top of the concrete. I don't have to worry about the water. And we're going to cure that water problems. I've been dealing with these guys. Man, they're trying to find them a home for winter. When I took the AC out, there's a little crack at the bottom, and they found it. And I went in there last night, and there was about 20 of them in there. It was, it was war, and I didn't come out till I won. They won't be using next spring as a playground. Let's get this stuff off. I need the whole picture before I can start doing stuff here to frame. I need the whole picture of what's going on. I don't remember half of it. We'll get that ceiling fan out of there. Get that out of my way. We're going to put a nice new one in. Going to do probably some extra lighting in here as well. And I am running. I'm going to drill through that. Tie into that. Outlet. Outlet. I see that needs to be fixed. So we do got electrical work to do. This isn't going to be a three-day job. This is probably going to be two weeks. We'll see what happens. A subscriber expressed concerns about reusing this uh, guys this is this is styrofoam it has a plastic coating you see how shiny that is it has a plastic coating on one side and this on one side if it gets wet it's fine 
you know unless it seeps down into the ends which it isn't going to uh, you can get this stuff wet it isn't going to hurt anything and as you can see it's in good shape a little dust on there yes you can most certainly reuse that and I and I will okay now looking at this I don't think I want to do it like I did it in the shed because that's going to be a lot of work. But what I think I'm going to do is get some 4x8 sheets of masonite, like the pegboard, only no holes, and just cover it in one swipe. The reason I want to use that is it's, it's, a, it's like a quarter inch thick, very thin, 3 8 thick, and it's not going to make my ceiling any lower. So... This whole wall basically is going to be replaced or re, redone to where there's no water getting in here now. There is a big piece of flashing. Don't know if we can see it. Let me get up in there. No water has been coming in here, but I don't like this. We're going to insulate some of that. And I'm just going to take my time with this wall. It needs redone. I thought I just killed all you dudes. And they're back. It's too cool for them to be flying around. All right, no bugs, no rats, no none of that up in here. It's still in good shape. And I said the only leak I had is coming in here somewhere, but there is flashing on the upper deck that comes out quite a ways. So I'm thinking there's probably where, the, where I ran out of flashing, added another piece. I probably overlapped it the wrong way. So I'm going to go up there later and look at that. But, I mean, I don't see any kind of water damage. This is... I don't think this is treated lumber because I knew it was going to have a roof on it. Some of it might be. doesn't look like it, but it could be. I don't remember. I can't see any greenage. All right. All right, next. I'm just going to leave that up for now. I don't need to take it down. I'll wait till I get the new one or start on the ceiling. I should have the new fan before the ceiling gets put up. So now, I'll get this screen off, I think. I mean, it doesn't do much. <laughs> Look at these guys, man. I'm going to set them free here in a minute. But overall, we don't have any damage. Got this side all stripped down. The tear down is complete. Somewhat. I don't think there is. Because we're only working on this and this and this. Now, I will have to get this moved when I start on the ceiling. Maybe not. I have learned how to be a bit of a contortionist. But, eh, for the most part, we got all the screens off. Didn't think of something. Those little puppy dogs are going to be able to walk right in here now. So, I got to get everything that they might chew on out of here. I don't think they're going to mess with the weight machine. But, I need to make sure all cords are up. Especially those. They would love to chew on them. So i got to make sure all cords are up. And let's take a look on the outside here. So this is all stripped down. This is going to be fairly simple to frame. I, I won't have to do anything here because that's going to be part of the doorway. We're probably going to come out to here. And then it'll have a little uh, awning over it. Little, little baby roof, if you want to call it that. But that T111, that's a horrible job I did. Oh, my God. I think I was down to using scraps. I was trying to avoid buying more. So I'm going to get that pulled off. It doesn't match the new stuff anyway. And uh, we'll get the frame in this tomorrow. Unfortunately, I got to unload everything out of this truck. I don't really have to. I, get, I can take the door and the 2x4s out, but that T111, because i got to go back and get windows tomorrow. I'll just leave the T111 in there, because, man, I don't want to handle that any more than i got to. All right. So a lot of people always ask this. Why don't you finish a job before you start a new one? Well, if you have watched other Homestead channels, you see about the same pattern. Maybe not if they have more than one person, but it's just me. And you do things according to the seasons, the weather. So if I'm working on the kitchen, and bam, it's 70 degrees and beautiful, and ain't raining, I'm outside working on something. 
And now I have just enough, this is the perfect time of year between October and December. It's warm all the way up till almost January. Perfect, no bugs to deal with. Perfect time of year to deal with this. Uh, we should have this all, this T111 all up on here and framed Monday, maybe by Tuesday. I'm gonna go get the other two windows tomorrow. I'll start, so I ain't gonna get a lot done tomorrow because I won't, but I'm gonna leave early. So I should be able to get a lot done tomorrow too, you know, but not as much as if I would have got up earlier. What do I see up in there? I think them birds been getting up in there. I see kind of what looks like a nest. I don't really care about that, but they better be out of there by the time I put up the hardware cloth. So that I don't think I need to mess with because I'm gonna have to add a two by four. I haven't measured that, I don't have a tape measure. This should be an inch and a half which would be the same width as I can just frame a two by four there to have something to nail that T111 to, uh, run a few vertical, and then that's all I gotta do. There's no sense to pull that off. That's just an extra barrier. And that should should do it. And I may have to put a P, yeah, I'm gonna have to, oh, I don't really have to put any piece here. We're gonna have to build this out? No, we won't have to build this out because we're just going here, here, and one, that's going to be easy, easy. I can do that short, you know, short amount of time. All right. Had to make sure my mic's on. I did put the foam in the shed. Ain't no sense in doing all that extra work to put that in there just to have to take it back down. She's plenty warm in there. Ain't even going to be cold for a while. I do need to get some plastic and cover this thing. I did not do that last year, and I paid the price. Because all these pine needles get in here. And over time, they clog things up. But this is a brand new one. <laughs> I don't remember when I, if I made a video, but when I bought this, I went to put it in. I pushed it in the window, and the whole thing fell down. Broke it on the first day, but it ran perfect all summer. We got a lazy one there. Look at that face. We got a lazy one there, and a lazy one there. It's prime puppy dog nap time. I just laid the door across there, put a couple screws in it. They're not going to be coming in now unless they jump through there, which they could do. I don't see them doing that. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Tomorrow we begin construction. The destruction is over. Construction. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Still fighting these ants. Look at this. I sprayed them with OxyClean. They're not coming out of that bowl. I see Lily didn't eat that piece of broccoli. She's not been eating the dry. She's just been eating the meat. Die, ants. Die. Look at them. They're all trailing down. They don't know where they're at. Yeah.